I had a request to tell something more about loudspeakers, headphones, etc. And in this video I want to give somewhat more explanation about these issues, but it's a whole science. And that's very important to know. Anyway, there are a few principles from microphones and loudspeakers. Um, that's important to tell. The microphone can be a loudspeaker and the loudspeaker can be a microphone. Sounds strange, but anyway, electromagnetic is one principle, crystal, ceramic or a condenser. Uh, microphone or loudspeaker. Here you see some uh, small loudspeakers uh, from a telephone, original old telephone here also, this also and here more modern small loudspeakers. In the past loudspeakers cones were made from paper but nowadays they are often made from plastic or other materials that have good properties to reproduce the sound. There are a few principles. At first the electromagnetic principle. A magnet here, there is a coil and to that coil a cone is connected. When we send in AC current sound to that coil, the, the the coil starts to move in the rhythm of the sound inside the magnet. And you can hear that uh, sound out of the cone. That's one principle. Another principle is that so called crystal or ceramic uh, microphone or loudspeaker, a cone connected to a crystal, when uh, a, cr a crystal receives AC. Uh, there's torsion in the crystal so it starts to move and you can again hear the sound um, that's produced by the signal that's put into the crystal. There is a problem, it has a very high impedance but that's also a good thing because such a crystal microphone can be extremely sensitive and here you see a crystal microphone now in the middle of the screen. Often used in radios uh, in the 1960s uh, for low power uh, applications. So you can for instance con connect such a crystal um, earphone to a coil with a diode and a parallel capacitor and then you have a radio. Nothing more, nothing less. Another principle is the so called condenser microphone or the condenser loudspeaker. Such a condenser loudspeaker consists of two plates, a high voltage is added that makes the two plates from the loudspeaker move and you can hear that as a sound. There are very uh, sophisticated systems for audio and as far as I know in the 60s and 70s they were sold as the top uh, audio loudspeakers, the electrostatic loudspeakers. Here we have electrostatic forces that make the loudspeakers, the loudspeaker plates move. Also a very high impedance of course, there is no current possible here. So they had to be driven by voltage, voltage changes, high voltage changes and you can think in the order in the magnitude from say 0 uh, and 800 volts or so. Um, the condenser microphone is also very very popular nowadays. In every cell phone there is a condenser microphone. It consists of a condenser. Uh, one of the plates is connected to a cone. Here the, uh, the, the, the sound goes in, one of the plates from the cap capacitor starts to move. That has uh, the effect from a change in capacitance 
and the change in capacitance is translated by an electronic circuit to sound. Very simple. And in fact the opposite from the condenser electrostatic loudspeaker. They act according to the same principles. Some uh, examples. A ceramic loudspeaker can only reproduce a small uh, frequency band. A crystal uh, loudspeaker, I have already explained that. Here an electromagnetic loudspeaker from a telephone horn. I've wound the coils over and that principle is very simple. Here a current is added, the sound and the plate from the um, loudspeaker starts to move in the rhythm of the current variations. So in fact the sound due to the fact that the plate is attracted and not attracted by the electromagnetic forces from the core. And that core is here. I'm already talking six minutes so quite long. Anyway, um, this is a very small earphone but in fact the principles are already explained. The principles are here. Electromagnetic loudspeaker type. Um, because such an earphone is directly connected to the ear, to the tympan, where in the human ear the sound is received, um, uh, the distance is short between the tympan and this electromagnetic uh, earphone and that um, has the effect that the cone doesn't have to be so big to reproduce also the very low frequencies. Low frequencies in general need big movements from the cone and big movement movements from the coil inside such a loudspeaker. So anyway, let's pan over all these beautiful um, loudspeakers that also can be used as microphones because this video is already far too long. But perhaps uh, another video, in another video I can explain more. It's a whole science and in my book Schematics 2 Audio Amplifiers and Loudspeaker Boxes uh, that's available on the Lulu website I've paid much attention to um, all these issues.